one. I know people have been waiting for episode two. To be honest with you, I just haven't been productive. But let's get into That's it. A bit rough. Um, this thing, Fikani. Let's let's do it. Um, so my guest today is my friend, my very good friend, Nema Nakitae. Hello. I'm nodding. You're nodding. I'm nodding, <laughs> and I'm smiling. <laughs> You can't see us, but it, the we're not there. Soon we'll have the production for wow. cameras. Can you imagine if we actually have the money? One well, day? Yeah, we'll have the money for cameras and our whole last setup. You wait. Nella Rose. Nella Rose. This vibes. is not a joke. <laughs> it's serious. Anyway, this is serious. Um, so Nama, tell us about yourself. What's your major? Um, I'm Nama. My major is criminal justice. Although, mm, that one. It's seeming like dropping out. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it says that we continue, we just drop out. But yeah, criminal justice studies, uh, minor in gender studies. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, you get to know her. Yeah. As yeah. <laughs> um, we be doing some mischievous things. <laughs> This is my partner in crime. <laughs> Demons. Demons. <laughs> okay. Um. So today's topic is is quite heavy. Yeah. But we're gonna try and keep it lighthearted. I don't know. You know what? Wherever it goes, it goes. It goes. Yeah. Wherever so, it goes, it goes. Today's topic is self image, mm-hmm. also known as self schema, and it's something that I've been struggling with. I won't lie for the past month. Mm-hmm. Right, not in the sense that like I'm putting myself down, mm-hmm. but being able to discern what is true and what is opinion. Yeah, like people will always have something to say about you. Yeah, right. That's something that I've noticed with with self image is it's something that's actually very personal, mm. but for some reason people make it about them. Them, like you could be having, you could be comfortable in yourself, you could be comfortable like you're at peace. Yeah, but somebody always wants to say something, and you're like, they're like. They're projecting. That's yeah, what it yeah. is. Well, you know what? I read this quote where it's like, once you start realizing that everybody's projecting, things just like get easier yeah, for you. Because you yeah. start seeing like, oh, you know what? Like, this is you. You're saying that this because is all you, you have your own yeah. whatever going on. But yeah. Um, now, I'm just going to get into the questions. Mm-hmm. How would you describe yourself? Oh. Um, I think I describe myself as somebody who is open minded. Mm-hmm. How am I describing myself? Like just that's that's why that's it's it. Hard. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, I describe myself as somebody who's open minded, who mm. is uh like willing to listen to anybody and uh, willing to offer advice or opinions if mm-hmm. needed. Um. So what happens if someone comes up to you and you're like, they're like, um, actually, you're not an open-minded person. I'd be like, okay, what makes you think I'm not open-minded? <laughs> like, what have I said or done that will that makes you think yeah. that I'm not open-minded? Damn. Okay, you have a very careful approach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have a good approach. Most people wouldn't. Most people are like, you're lying. Because, like, I mean, everyone has their own, um, what's it called, view of you, you know? Mm. Like, everybody has, like, their own perspective mm. of you. Like, you, the way you view me is different from so- how somebody else views me. me. So, and different experiences. Like, I could be, the day that I meet you, I could be having a bad day. Yeah. And that's going to make you think that... I'm like this. I'm like this. I'm like that. So, let's talk. I think. I honestly, I think a lot of things can be solved with talking. So, Mm. but then sometimes you just. Yeah, I feel like I'm the opposite. If someone comes up to me, Mm -hmm. I actually let's not let's not get into (laughs) it. Okay, Um, is it easier for you to give yourself praise or criticism? Oh, criticism. Really? Yeah, Yeah, criticism. On a daily basis? It's not on a daily basis. I feel like, um, for the most part, Mm. it's like a mix of both. Um, There's days where you're just like, you look at yourself and you're like, 
this is wrong this is what's wrong with you like a b c mm. do you start listing them out and then there's other days where you're like feeling yourself you're like you know like, yeah yeah, no, yeah. Emma, like you're actually the bad can i swear yes you're actually <laughs> the baddest bitch on this planet like what do you mean um I swear. <laughs> and then other times you're like you're actually like pathetic but yeah. then i guess it's just a balance um but i think i do tend to give myself more criticism in an effort to better myself better. yeah i think that's me right now before i used to just be like you ain't shit like yeah you're nothing whatever but now now i told myself okay theola we did this today that was not good yeah that was not okay yeah how can we yeah how can we not improve? repeat this yeah yeah okay next question is i think i already asked this how do you filter out what other people have to say about you and how do you know what to take into consideration which you answered unless mm. you have other methods. i think sometimes um i think sometimes it almost how you accept information depends on how the person is giving it because mm. if you're like in a shit mood or if you're just a mean person we know some of those um, and all you know how to do is like talk down on somebody. Obviously, I'm not gonna listen to you because, like, <laughs> it's not true. You're telling me, oh, you're this, oh, you're that. Obviously, I'm not, so I'm not gonna listen to you. But if you're telling me something that, like, you've noticed that I've been doing and you're concerned yeah. about it, obviously, I'm gonna be like, okay, let's take a minute to to listen. I feel like I'm yeah. more willing to listen to opinion from people I know care about. Yeah, me. they're down for me. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because some people are just there to be your haters. To be, a, yeah, we got those. Yeah, and I we mean, have those, we guys. We have those. Uh-uh. I don't care how, you could be Beyonce, and you could also just be like anyone, but everyone has haters. 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 Yeah. The ones we have, though. <laughs> we have? I don't want to throw shade. <laughs> Today, and I, would, would they know if we were talking about them? Do they listen to the podcast? <laughs> Get out of that! And you claim to be my friend. Yeah, you claim to be my friend. And you don't listen. Okay, exactly. you don't plug my shit. Some friend. You I'm, are. Real, I'm real. I'm real. I'm real. No, 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 no you're fake. <laughs> no, no, you're fake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, self image. Okay, fine. Now, physically. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get into it. How do you do? You when you picture sexy, do you see yourself? Not really. Okay, that's weird though. I mean, because otherwise you'd be looking for people that look like you. Some people are into that. <laughs> no, sh- yeah, I mean, do that. you? Do you? Okay. <laughs> do you? But on a serious note, like when you picture sexy, do you picture you? At least aspects of you. I yeah. Uh, I think I pi- I picture s- some aspects of myself. Mm-hmm. Like physically, mm. I think um, I excel. <laughs> yes, <laughs> me praising myself. That's her. I think um, I think I'm pretty. Yeah, like I think. Yeah. Yeah. The face is there. Like, well, we're beautiful. Exactly. Also, your skin, guys. Oh my days! I wish you could see. Stop! 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 Wow. Don't okay. Gassing me off. Okay. <laughs> I'm gassed that it's ten twenty two. Um, um, but yeah, um, like, but like body wise, I think mm-hmm. we're still struggling there a bit. I get that. Um, and that has to do with like a lot of things, mainly society, um, yeah, mothers, uh, we're not getting to mothers. Nah, honestly though, like, okay, mothers and aunts, if you're one of those aunts who are like, oh, you're gaining weight. Yeah. Aunt. Yeah. Aunt. Yeah, it's honestly, and you know what? They pass it off as um, nobody's gonna tell you the truth like your yeah, friends will. Yeah, I'm You're going like, to. I'm going to tell you. All your God friends, the, all your friends would me. never tell you these things. That's why you should listen to me. To I'm me. your family. Like you're being me. And then they come with clothes. Hey. They come with clothes, and yeah. they're like, "Look at this." Should we? And you're like, "What do you mean?" Mm. That long summer dress. Me? It's not a vibe. That's that's sweet. But my mom doesn't buy me clothes anymore because she knows. I used to get so mad. She, to, I, she buys me clothes and I'm like, what do you think? Who do you think I am? 
seriously anyway yeah it usually be the closest people to you to you who be bringing up your insecurities i feel like today we've talked more about haters than yeah because i feel like self-image comes with a lot of like i think the reason why a lot of people struggle with their self-image is because of the people around them who are not yeah. willing to like uplift them they just want to tear them down so when you like speaking from my perspective when you grow up as like a bigger girl mm-hmm. and um in like a world that's kind of made for um smaller people yeah. and you have like the one person who's supposed to be like um telling you that you're beautiful is mm-hmm. telling you that you're not that's it's kind just... of like it fucks you up in different ways yeah so where is the yeah, positivity yeah you're like where's the positivity because you're gonna grow up not feeling loved outside of your home yeah. and you're gonna grow up feeling loved inside your home so you're gonna yeah. be like now what? what's love i don't know what that is and yeah like you don't know love for other people and you don't know love for yourself so, and that's where issues of self-image come in at least from my perspective from your, yeah i think for me it's more okay physically it's changed <clears throat> i think my self-image physically is tied to my mental health mm-hmm. right so in high school <laughs> was struggling um so i was like really skinny yeah. i mean damn and mm-hmm. then last year i was underweight i was actually like clinically underweight mm-hmm. and so i used to hate my body to the extent where i did not want to acknowledge it yeah. and i didn't take care of it mm-hmm. i didn't want to pay attention to it at all mm-hmm. right and now i'm in a space where I'm enjoying food for the first time in my life. And mm-hmm. so I'm liking certain things about my body and I'm having to pay attention to it. Mm-hmm. And it's weird. It's scary. Mm-hmm. So saying, sometimes I look at myself and I'm like, that's me. Mm. Like those things in the mirror are me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's a journey. I hope one day I do get to a point where I'm like, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I used to do sin. Exactly. But at the moment, I'm like, okay, whatever. Mm, yeah. I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. But I think um, mentally, my self image is stronger. Mm-hmm. In the sense that I know that people are not always going to say, oh, you're doing a good job. Oh, you're doing oh, okay. a good job yeah. on a daily basis. And you have to wake up in the morning and you have to say, look, I know myself and mm-hmm. I know I have to work hard and I know I'm going to get those grades. I don't want to go to class today, but I'm going to class. Yeah. I don't want to record this podcast today, but I'm going to record yeah. it. You know, stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah I agree with you there. Yeah. Yeah I, th- yeah, I also think that too. I think, um, like mentally my self-image is improving Mm. and i think that's because i've started to like reevaluate um like friendships i've started to reevaluate like family Mm. things and you just start to realize that some things are just they don't work for you and that's fine that's fine so when i like i've also been on this journey of like you know let's let's reevaluate everything and in an effort to like um heal myself mentally um that's me stuff my fingers because <laughs> sometimes you're like you're just so down bad and you're just not having it mm. having a bad time and you think of ways to like make yourself feel better mm. and sometimes these ways include removing obstacles that are like not allowing you to grow mm. so when you do that i think at least when I've done that, my self image has become Confident. like I've become confident in myself yeah. and I've become confident in like confident in my friendships to I think I used to be a very naive person, um mm. and I was very like drunk on friendship that I couldn't see signs of like toxicity. Yeah. And that affects so, you. Yeah, yeah, and that affects you. Um, because you let things slide. Like, people will say, like, stupid shit and you're there like, oh, oh, that's funny. That's funny. And somebody's clearly talking shit about you yeah, to your face to your so face. when you start realizing that like you are you honestly you grow mentally mm. your self-image changes and that's one of the things that i'm so proud of myself yeah. for um i think yeah. it it also affects your aspirations or your goals yeah um i was talking about with my friend the other day we were like so do we actually want to get married or is that something that society has just fed us 
I think it's society has fed us, to be honest. Yeah. I I don't believe that people people claim okay, people say that um for you to find like internal happiness you're gonna get married and you're gonna have a family love your life that's bullshit honestly <coughs> um i think you can be happy without being married i think you can be happy without mm. having children to be honest mm. um so if you're one of those people who's like i think don't preserve your own self-image but also remember not to push it on push your Self imageness onto yes, other yes, right? So, no, I'm not gonna say that. I that's, know what you. I, I know, know what you're. I know what you're thinking. I know exactly what you're thinking. I'm I about can't. to quote something. I can't. I'm about I to can't. quote something. <laughs> I'm about to quote tweet. Like, bro. Okay. Metaphor. Let's use a metaphor. This, yeah. I like vegetables because I like vegetables. Yeah. Don't come and be like, oh, I eat bacon every day. You should eat bacon. Ew, you eat vegetables. Yeah. No, yeah. That's a bad example because like... But like, okay, the context is there's some people let's call this person... to end the podcast okay no actually let's call this person jay we're gonna call them jay (laughs) jay thinks that the world revolves around them no (laughs) never never i no 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 and jay never stops to realize that other people have things going on so when jay decides to say stupid things like this is can I edit this and be like beat because it's just <laughs> you know what um I will actually just okay since this, you're gonna edit that part out um just don't impose if you are don't you self image yeah, you self yeah, image yeah, yeah you self image but then again Bro, but again your self image is is it's not is mine toxic. no 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 but it's toxic. Okay, yes. Their self honest. their self image is toxic because their self image is all about me, 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 me. Mm. And never being like How do I affect the world around me? Yeah. It's that, like that thought doesn't cross this person's mind. It's kinda like using plastic bags when you go to shopping because it helps you, like the bag helps you and stuff. Mm-hmm. And you use plastic bags each and every time. Those plastic bags are contributing to pollution. Yeah. But in your head, you're like, I don't know what that is. Yeah. I'm yeah. just going to use the yeah. plastic bag. Yeah. yeah. You know? Self-imaging and projection. You're allowed, yeah. Self-image yourself. If that's your vibe. But sometimes, I think there's, obviously, there's, sometimes there can be too much of, every, too much of something can sometimes be bad. So I think if you're self-imaging all the time, and you don't notice that other people can sometimes struggle with their self-image. And you are... Obviously, you're projecting, first of all. Um, second of all, you are... In 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 your effort to make to self-image, you want to put somebody else down. That's not self-imaging. That's not self-imaging. Because self-imaging is... You're working to better yourself, correct? How are you, you going to better yourself by putting somebody else down? To me, that doesn't make sense. It's not clicking. There's a disconnect. Because. Yeah. My advice honestly. Is. Be strong. Actually fuck the strong black woman trope. But like okay be. Be firm in your. Self image. Yes. That's what I've learned because. In the past month. People have been talking. People have been saying people things. People have been. Mm-hmm. But you need to be like. Yeah, but I'm still working hard. Yeah, yeah. but I'm still going to get out of yeah. bed at the end of the day, you yeah. know, and stuff like that. It's all about not letting somebody who is honestly not even worth it. Some people are not worth yeah, it. Yeah, some people are not worth it. So you shouldn't let them dictate how you should self-image. Live your life, yeah. yeah. Like, go be a bad girl. Yeah, okay. Girl. Wear that mini scalp. Do it. Wear that what low else? cut top. Do it. Do it. Do it. Because people are always gonna have something to say. Post that thirst trap. <laughs> exactly. 
Like, what are they gonna do? Re- yeah, retweet this you. Yeah, it's me, aunt. Moving yeah. on. What are they gonna do? send it to their their ah. group chat? Just and say you all want me. Just say all of you want me. Exactly. If you're having issues with your self image, like it's, it's not like my business. To I'm you. living in your head, rent free. Rent free. Rent free. Rent free. Rent free. Anyway, um, okay, let's get to the end. Okay. This is the part where I ask you to give a shout out to an artist you think deserves recognition or more recognition. I thought about this question Mm -hmm. and I was like, the person that I was thinking about, I feel like in their, um, like genre of music that they produce, Mm. I feel like they have enough recognition, but at the same time, it needs to, yeah, if you say BTS, no, 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 okay, no, 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 it's not BTS, uh, (laughs) well, yeah, now you know. Jimin, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot your shot, 2021! <laughs> Just fly me out! It's not even a problem! My mom doesn't care! Just the ticket! I'm... Wow. I can become a Korean baddie. It's not, it's not hard. It's not hard. Just some surgery here and there. It's called confidence. <laughs> <laughs> the artist, the artist. It's called confidence. Um, so I was thinking, I actually had two. Mm. One of them is Rini, R I N I. Um, I think his music is really good. Okay. Um, what's the vibe? It's like, how can I say the vibe? The vibe is you're chilling, you smoked up tonight, and like, in fact, um, his. Yeah, is it an E? What's an EP? What's the difference between an EP and an album? An EP is shorter, right? Yeah, which doesn't make sense. Isn't EP extended play? I don't even know. LP um, is it's an album. Oh, it's an EP. Yeah, um, it's an EP called After the Sun. Personally, that's my favorite EP that he's done. It only has one, two, three, four, five songs, um, and. Meet me in Amsterdam is the best song there, in my opinion. Meet me in. Am- you Actually, guys should be taking. Notes. Every every song is good, but my favorite song is Meet Me in Amsterdam and Aphrodite. Okay. Um, and then the other one was Pink Sweats because I've been on a Pink Sweats vibe. Yeah. Um, and I think Pink Sweats. I feel I know a couple of people who listen to him. Did mm-hmm. I get that right? Yeah, him. Yeah, I know a couple of people who listen to him. Yeah. He's really good. Actually, guys, I don't want to misgender somebody. Yeah, I, think, I also I don't think he want uses, to. That's what I was asking. I think he uses um, uh, he, him pronouns. He, him. Guys. Okay. Yeah, he, him pronouns. So, Pink Sweats. Um, Those are 17 and Heaven. Two best songs. In Yeah, in my opinion. Okay. Um, That's from his newest album, if I'm not wrong. Oh no, the lights just went out in here. Oh well, but yeah, those are the two people that I think deserve recognition. More recognition. Okay. That's it. We're done. Wow. I'm probably gonna have her back, guys. This is this is my boy. Yeah. This is my boy. Yeah, we'll be back. But, um, the episodes will be longer, guys. We can talk for hours. But we're gonna have to beep out so many times. <laughs> <laughs> These are people we see on Compass. Um if you find yourself in this video, just know, reevaluate.